Being a true leader doesn't come from having a specific title, meaning what you say is what you do. Empathy, integrity, mentorship, effective delegation, high emotional intelligence, resilience, fortitude, and humility. Sharing credit where credit is due and taking more than your share of the blame. The former CEO of PepsiCo, Indra Nui, the first woman of color and immigrant to run a Fortune 50 company. My very first case at HPS was on PepsiCo and I was the first cold call in my section. So my excitement was on another level talking about her. Sandra Korbach, the America's co-head of corporate private equity at Carlisle. I chose to join Carlisle to work with her. I also trusted her advice to go to business school to improve my judgment and learn how to voice my opinion eloquently. Mary Barra, CEO of General Motors, entering such a male-dominated industry, getting to the top with her leadership style of being assertive while also being empathetic with her employees. Lisa Su, the CEO of AMD, Advanced Micro Devices. She has the unique combination of both technical genius as well as business acumen. She led an incredible transformation and turnaround of AMD into one of the fastest growing semiconductor companies in the world. The female protagonist that left an impact on me was Debbie Lovich, partner at Boston Consulting Group. Her case focused on how you balance a demanding career as well as commitments at home. Cynthia Carroll of Anglo-American Mines in South Africa. The case was about the safety of the mine workers. Everyone in the class thought it was her fiduciary duty to the shareholders, so she could not shut down the mine. But she made the hard decision to close down a mining plant. She still paid the salaries to the workers. She said we wouldn't open back until it was very, very safe for my employees. Even at the cost of a lot of money to the firm, she prioritized their health and safety. She followed through and I have huge respect for that. Being empathetic or being sensitive, I feel, is not a reason for people to think that you cannot be a powerful decision maker. I've learned the importance of listening to others and encouraging quieter voices to speak up within a team setting. People think that women can have it all and they're pretty much at the same level that men are and things have finally become equal. However, I would like to mention that it may not be the case, especially in all parts of the world, and there are lots of demographics where this is still very far from the reality. The small incremental changes that we make as MBA graduates and as leaders in the world, it's going to be very important to pull generations of other women forward. I actively seek out opportunities to mentor and uplift others, especially young women entering male-dominated fields like tech, operations, and finance. As incoming co-president of the Women's Student Association, I'm forever grateful for those first women who stepped foot on HBS's campus and paved the path for those of us here today. Can I, can I talk about my grandmother? Women who inspire me or who've changed the way I think. I was brought up by my grandmother who was never given the opportunity to go to school and I learned egalitarianism from her. I learned the value of education from her. But most importantly, I learned to be bold from her. Remain ethical, remain bold, and remain kind.